With the flooding that occurred recently in Toronto and southern Alberta, we were wondering whether extreme rainfall is just the new normal. I've got Dr. Blair Feltmate with me. He's from the University of Waterloo. So what do you say? Is this to be expected? That's the new norm. Uh, going forward for major cities in Canada and rural communities, we have to expect that we're going to see uh, rainfalls with uh, uh, of greater intensity and duration. Uh, than what we've experienced in the past and then what we've experienced most recently in uh, Calgary and Toronto. We can expect those types of events and events even beyond those in the forthcoming future. And so what can cities do to prepare? Toronto didn't even compare with Calgary and other areas and the city just came to a standstill at some places. That's right. So we have to do a few things. One of the things we have to do is produce uh, up-to-date floodplain maps for cities, which will give us a good idea within the context and the framework of the extreme rains that are projected to occur. What are the areas within the cities where we should not be building? In areas that are most vulnerable, where there's not good runoff, we have to build uh, repositories where that water can go. And then in and around homes for individual homeowners, they should be looking at their homes and saying, are my yeast troughs clean? If I have window wells, they should be covered with plastic covers such that the light can get in but the water can't. They should contour around their homes so that the water flows away from the house versus towards it. In the basement, if you have expensive electrical equipment or anything along those lines, uh, make sure it's raised up off the ground uh, considerably rather than sitting at ground levels. And finally, bigger picture, what does this say about climate change? Climate change is real. It has happened, it is happening, and, and it will continue to happen and the changing weather that we're experiencing as a result of climate change, uh, we can't cheat the system. We have to get ahead of the curve so we're not managing by disaster, which is what we're currently doing to a large extent. The issue that we need to get ahead of the curve on is, is to uh, anticipate that which is to come in terms of extreme weather events and develop a, a number of priority actions that can be taken to lessen the negative impacts of the events of the flooding when it, uh, when it does occur.